The following theorem gives the most general relationship between the sides of similar triangles. So theorem 13 for leave insert, propor proportional sides in similar triangles theorem. If two triangles, ABC, ABC, and DEF, DEF, are similar, then their sides are proportional in order, i.e. AB divided by DE, so AB divided by DE is equal to BC divided by EF, BC divided by EF is equal to CA divided by FD, CA divided by FD. Remember that similar triangles have three equal angles but their side lengths are different, but their side lengths are in proportion with each other. This theorem states that if two triangles are similar, then the fractions formed by putting the sides from one triangle over the corresponding sides from the other triangle are equal. This can be shown as sides in triangle 1 are AB, BC, CA, and sides in triangle 2 are DE, EF, and DF. So AB divided by DE is equal to BC divided by EF is equal to CA divided by DF. So these are the sides opposite angle 1. So this is angle 1 in both triangles. And opposite we have AB and opposite we have DE. So these are the sides opposite angle 2. So here's angle 2 and opposite we have BC and opposite we have EF. And these are the sides that are opposite angle 3. So here we have angle 3 and opposite we have AC. And here we have angle 3 and opposite we have DF. So here is the proof of theorem 13. So what are we given? Two triangles ABC, so ABC, and DEF, DEF, such that the angle ACB, so ACB, so this angle here in red, is equal to the angle DFE, so DFE, so this angle also in red, the angle CAB, so C. A, B, so this angle here in green, is equal to the angle F, D, E, so F, D, E, this angle here in green, and angle A, B, C, A, B, C, this angle here in orange, is equal to the angle D, E, F, so D, E, F, so this angle here also in orange, and the length of A, B, so A, B, this yellow side, is greater or equal to the length of DE. So what do we want to prove? That AB divided by DE, so AB divided by DE, is equal to BC divided by EF, BC divided by EF, is equal to CA divided by FD, CA divided by FD. So our construction, pick P, on AB. So pick a point P on the line AB such that AP equals DE. So AP equals DE. So the distance from D to E is equal to the distance from A to P. And Q on AC. So here's the line AC and we pick a point Q such that AQ is equal to DF. So AQ is equal to df. So the distance from d to f is equal to the distance from a to q. Join p and q. So we join these two points together. Proof. The triangle APQ, so APQ, is congruent to the triangle DEF. DEF. So congruent triangles are identical, so three equal sides, three equal angles. So it's congruent because of SAS, which stands for side included angle side. So we have the side AP is equal to the side DE. We have the side AQ 
is equal to the side DF and we have the included angle, angle A, is equal to angle D. Thus, the angle APQ, so APQ, so this orange angle here, must be equal to the angle DEF. So DEF, this angle here, because they're congruent triangles, which again means they're identical. The angle APQ, so APQ, is equal to the angle ABC, ABC, so this angle here, because they are similar triangles. So this triangle, this smaller triangle APQ, is inside of this larger triangle CAB, so therefore they are similar. So the angles are all the same, but the lengths are different. Hence, PQ is parallel to BC, because of corresponding angles. So if these two lines are parallel and we were to take AB to be a transversal cutting through them, if this angle is equal to this angle then they must be corresponding with each other which means QP must be parallel to CB. Then AB divided by AP so AB divided by AP is going to be equal to AC divided by AQ. AC divided by AQ. This comes from theorem 12 that we just had a look at. So theorem 12 states that line parallel to the base of a triangle theorem. So in this case this is our triangle, this is the base, and this is the line that's parallel to the base. So we let ABC be a triangle. If L is parallel to BC and cuts AB in the ratio M to N, then it also cuts AC in the same ratio. So we already had a look at that in a previous video. And AB divided by DE, so AB divided by DE is equal to AC divided by DF. AC divided by DF. Similarly, BC divided by EF, so BC divided by EF is equal to AB divided by DE. AB divided by DE. Thus, AB divided by DE, AB divided by DE is equal to BC divided by EF, BC divided by EF, and AC divided by DF, AC divided by DF. And this is what we were asked to prove. So let's just have a quick look back over our ratios. We had AB over AP. So AB over AP is equal to AC over AQ, which we got from theorem 12, line parallel to the base of a triangle theorem. Now, we have already proven that the distance from A to P, A to P, is equal to the distance from D to E, D to E, because we unpurposely constructed this line so that that was the case. And we also know that the distance from A to Q is equal to the distance from D to F. Because again, we constructed that line on purpose so that that was the case. So AB over AP is the same as AB over DE. And AC over AQ is the same as AC over DF. So that's why we have AB over DE at the bottom here and AC over DF at the bottom here. So now let's just have another little look at this part here. So if BC is divided by EF, so BC divided by EF because they are corresponding sides, then that's equal to AB divided by DE. AB divided by DE because they are corresponding sides. So if these two are equal, then we can also let the AB over DE and AC over DF equal to BC over EF. So that's how we get the three of them to equal. And this is what we were asked to prove. So these questions can be quite confusing because there are just so many letters in them, but I would strongly suggest that you color code everything. It's much easier to see what's going on when you do that. And finally, the converse of this theorem is also true. If AB divided by DE 
is equal to BC divided by EF, which is equal to AC divided by DF, then the two triangles ABC and DEF are similar.